And they are going in. O'Shea on that number one bike, just getting elbowed off the front line. And it's Jordan Saru and Lucas Schwartzbar at the front of this one. Scherer's in close contention. Dubois got the inside line. In the middle is Alan Harperley of Cannon Deal Factory Racing. But it's Lucas Schwartzbar who leads them away. Yeah, Jordan Saru now. He's next to him. He tries to overtake him. But it's Lucas Schwartzbar who's taking that corner. The corner just in front of that uh, little climb. Yeah, Scherer's been elbowed out now in the black and white jersey. And he's going to have to get back into position as they head into this tight little descent now. Two lines are open for these racers once they dip down into the it's Haverly. Yeah, we saw yesterday also uh, in the 23 uh, categories uh, a lot of crashes actually here in that uh, forest. It's a lot of off camber over there, uh, roots, there's uh, dusty parts, loose gravel, which oh. makes it very slippery. Uh, short track and cross country. And sometimes they do the double. Flugiger looks like he's really pouring on the pressure at the front of this one. 23 seconds back to Tom Pidcock. So if he fancies doing something. Yeah, but he has a thumb injury earlier this year. Lance Reidy was struggling with that. He had a surgery after uh, Valdi Solde. Tom Pitcock's 37th, so he has moved up a couple of spots, but not in the short track racing. Short track as ever. Oh, and there is a little bubble behind Dubot yeah, taking yeah, up yeah, Haverly. Yeah, yeah. And that goes think some time. just moved across there and just bubbled him out, whatever happens. Yeah, Joshua Dubot. And look at the gap quickly forming now at the front. You cannot afford to blink in cross country short track racing. It costs so much energy to close that gap again. Shorter having to work hard into the bottom of that, into the top of that descent. Let's have a look at it, just the bottom of your screen. So, yeah, Shorter's yeah, yeah, unclipped yeah, yeah. and it yeah. tangled up Dubot and then Haverly. Geraldo Choi, he was lucky and just could go around it. Yep. Here we go then, high altitude, high speed, all to play for Impal, Aaron, Sal, Andorra. It's the last lap of the UCI Mountain Bike World Cup cross country short track race here in the Elite Men's. Positions are important on that uh, point actually where they're entering the forest. This group looks like it's been split into two now. Schwarzbauer, Saru, Flugiger, Scherter. And here comes Flugiger on the right-hand side of your screen as he heads past Saru. He Slots in behind Schwarzbauer. Yeah, he likes to overtake uh, Jordan Saru now going outside. Schwarzbauer stands on the pedals. Saru stands on the pedals. It's a drag race up this hill. But as they battle for, look at Schwarzbauer go. Look at Schwarzbauer go as they about to tip into this descent. Flugiger is just distanced slightly by that attack. But Saru is close on his wheel. There's nothing in between these two. Yeah, we've seen him win them from deep this year Nino as well. Nino Schurter's coming to the front now. Here comes Nino. Schurter. Nino Schurter moves to the front, but Lucas Schwarzbar says no. Lucas Schwarzbar and Nino Schurter. It's a drag race up the hill. Schwarzbar has the better of the goat as they head on to the pump track. Look back over the shoulder for Saru on third place. Lucas Schwarzbar goes out wide on the pump track. So Schurter. these last corners before the finish, that last corner before the finish Schwartz on high speed. Here we go. They've taken different lines. Schurter floating over those doubles like they are absolutely nothing. He's out for a trail centre ride. But now we go under the start finish straight on the last lap. Can Nino Schurter out sprint Lucas Schwarzbauer? Schwarzbauer strides away from the Swiss rider. Lucas Schwarzbauer takes the win in Palar and Salah and Dora Nino Schurter was second, Jordan Saru third, Alan Haverly fourth place, fifth place goes to Matthias Flugiger. Schwarzbar takes the win, ahead of Scherter, Saru, Haverly, Flugiger, Brido, Dubu, Ochoa, Tascalu, and Blooms. Forster, Koretsky back in 13th ahead of Griot, Litcher, Pitcock then all the way through to 17th. Titwan Karou. Rounds out the top 20. Pierre de Foimont down in 26th, not his evening. Vidari. Andreas in 29th. Aldridge, 30th. Cameron North from the UK in 31st. But your winner, Lucas Schwarzbauer, takes the win in Palar and Sal Andorra.
Lucas Schwarzbauer wins in Andorra. An absolutely class retort to the disappointment at the UCI World Championships from a rider who just gets better and better. Schwarzbauer, Scherter and Saru take the glory in Pal Aaron Sal Andorra. It gets windy in the evening, it's going to rain. Schwarzbauer, Saru, Dubu, Haverley and Flugiger then are the top five in the overall standings, but that gap, 270 points between Schwarzbauer and Saru, starting to look quite commanding. And it's Bridal de Foimont, Griot, Gaze, Albon. Martin Vidari, 774 points back, now in 20th position. Charlie Aldridge back in 27th. Ptolemy Vavak of Poland, 